What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Ed Honcho, aka at the real Ed Honcho on Instagram and Twitter. But if you just want those dripping H Town tasty flavored sports steaks, you can catch me at South Sports HTX on Twitter. Now, first and foremost, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe right now, okay? Because now I'm gonna explain to you why you need to subscribe. Because this is South Sports. This is a South Sports special. And you'd be like, what is South Sports? South Sports is a Houston Homer channel. So that means we're talking about Texans, Astros, Rockets, Dynamo, Dash. We're talking collegiate, professional, amateur, semi pro, high school. Whatever it may be, and I'm still in the sweatshop. Yes, the brand new Sauce Sports Studios. Until we get the airflow on go, I gotta give you the sauce however I can give it to you. And I gotta drip the flavor like I'm dripping in sweat right now. But it's all good because, like I say, we're continuing the Know Your Texan series. Okay? So now we're talking about number 17 in the series, but number 20 on the field. Picked him up last year, fifth round. <clears throat> Pick number 159. That would be KJ Dillon. Out of West Virginia. So let's talk a little bit about K.J. Dillon. Like I say, the Know Your Texan series is just we want to talk positivity. We want to talk about good things that we hope for and expect from each and every player on the roster. We want to see everybody succeed. We want to see these guys all be able to contribute to the team that we know and love so much. So like I say, we're just giving back. This is my way of giving back. This is my way of letting Sauce Nation give back, show a little love for the guys and what they think that – that these guys could bring to the table. Like I said, I want to know who you guys call. Call it before the preseason. Who do you think is going to be the, the pick? Who do you guys going to be a, a, a sleeper? But like I said, let's talk back, <coughs> talk back about Mr. K.J. Dillon. So a six-foot guy, 200 pounds, out of Apopka, Florida. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that's the name. You know, Florida got all them crazy-ass day places. I ain't got time to discover and learn all the names. I ain't got time to learn that much more about Florida, all right? So I, I'm a Texas boy. That's all that matters. He's a Texas boy now because he's playing for the Texas. So as long as he's here, we'll call it whatever. He's from Houston, Texas. All right, a popcorn Florida. I ain't got time for that, right? No disrespect, Mr. Dillon, but I can't say that shit. I don't know what it is. But if y'all know where it is, maybe y'all from Florida, so y'all can send a little bit of love. Um, picked him up last year, okay? Strong safety. Uh, talented guy. Talented guy, as you can see, making plays all over the place. And first, while I'm, while, I'm, while, I'm, while I'm looking at the highlights, I want to shout out to Visionary. Visionary makes the best highlights on YouTube. I don't care what anybody says. You cannot dispute the fact of that to me because there's a lot of people out there making highlights. But, you know, they're just throwing a bunch of clips together and putting some music behind it. And that's cool. But if you ever watch a Visionary highlight, it tells a story. I mean, I love Visionary highlights. So shout out to Visionary, man. Nothing but love for you. Uh, definitely, if you haven't checked out Visionary, man, go check out the channel. It's not all Houston stuff, but definitely got love for the H-Town. But some of the best, to me personally, the best highlight videos on YouTube. So shout out to Visionary. But back talking about Mr. K.J. Dillon. Um, like I said, came out of West Virginia, fifth round guy, ran a 4-5-3. Solid guy, solid tackler. Uh, could tighten up on his technique a little bit, but... Like I said, a good guy. He can make plays on the ball, as you see. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of highlights for that. That he, 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 he's where the ball is. He, he, he makes big hits. But what I've noticed about his big hitting ability is it depends on the size of the guy that he's coming across. He, he does well against, you know, middle to average size guys. But bigger backs, bigger athletes, he, you know, struggles a little bit with. Uh, almost get trucked. But, he'll, you know, he'll stay along for the ride. But <clears throat> it's a couple, of, a couple of things, like I say, he could do to tighten up on his technique to improve that that hitting, that big hitting, play making, smashing ability that we love, that's that's good. But you know, you don't want to be, uh, we don't want to come in like Swearinger used to be and come in going in for the big hit and then just whiffing on everything. Had no coverage skills, but I think this guy has some solid coverage skills. Uh, can make plays, and I hope that he can stay healthy. Uh, last year went out October nineteenth. Um, which is actually my sister's birthday. May she rest in peace. Uh, October nineteenth last year. Uh, excuse me, on injured reserve. Um, so hopefully this year he can be healthy. Hopefully this year he can have a solid camp and maybe develop into that safety that we've been looking for, that we've been hoping for, that so many people are, are saying that we need to go out and find. He may be a guy that's already here on the roster along with some of the other guys, some of the other talented guys. We've just had a lot of injury at that safety position. I'm not sure why that is, but a lot of guys that are talented and a couple more that will be coming up soon in the next couple of videos that we'll be talking about. Very talented uh, safety, just having to deal with some injury. Um, so, like I said, another situation. Had a rookie year last year. wasn't a lot of high, wasn't a lot of big expectations from him. But we know that he has a solid skill set. And hopefully, like I said, he's been able to develop on that since the injury, uh, which I believe was an ACL tear. Uh, yeah, I'm using my cheat sheet. Don't judge me. Um, so, like I said, hope he's been able to fully recover from that. And like I said, with camp coming up soon, like I said, they're up the green bar now. Hopefully, tomorrow everything will be started at the time of this recording. Um, hopefully, that 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 will definitely 
definitely uh, see what he's working with. With that being said, y'all already know how the Know Your Texan series goes. And like I say, Sauce Nation, y'all already know what this is, that y'all are the flavor that makes the sauce so fresh. Y'all are the, y'all are the ingredients that makes the sauce so tasty. So with that being said, you guys, I want y'all to, to, to let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about KJ Dillon. I know when I first started you know, talking text and then t- eventually turned into soft sports and everything else. A lot of people were hitting me up and that were high on KJ Dillon. They like KJ Dillon. So if you're still in the sauce, if you're still bringing the flavor, let me know what it is about KJ Dillon that you like. Let me know what it is about KJ Dillon that you see that you think could potentially make him a, 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 a household name or at least a household name for Texans fans. So with that being said, Sauce Nation, y'all already know how it goes. Before I get up out of here, like I'm dripping in sweat right now because I got to bring you the sauce because I said I was going to bring y'all 100 videos before the first snap of preseason. I'm going to do that. No matter how hot it gets in here, it could be, the building could be on fire, and I'm still going to bring you the sauce. But like I'm dripping in sweat, y'all need to be dripping in sauce. Y'all need to be dripping in flavor. Go get that shirt. Go get the soft sports shirt. I appreciate each and every one of you who've already copped one. And those of you who hit me who said you got it, man, send me a picture. I uh, definitely want to check it out. You can uh, – <clears throat> Maybe at the Soft Sports page or the Facebook page, you can send me a picture through the messages or you can you know, hit me on the Twitter, however, uh, or you send me an email at softsports at gmail.com and if you want to email me a picture, I definitely want to show some love and put those up on the, uh, I'll definitely show you some love in the video and definitely put you up on the uh, Twitter and some stuff like that. Everybody who, like I say, who, who, who's shown love, even if you don't get a shirt, man, I appreciate all of y'all who have just, you know, subscribed, who just been like, man, keep it going, who have provided motivation because like I say, Sauce Nation, y'all are the flavor. You know, there is no sauce without the ingredients. You know, anyway, so, you know, if you're new to this and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and become an ingredient. You know what I'm saying? Because this sauce every day, we're gonna talk, we've been talking to Texans every day before training camp. When, when everybody else didn't want to, when they said they were tired of talking about H-Town sports, when they were tired about it, we, we still talk Texans because we love our team and we're ready. And I know y'all are super excited. I know I'm super excited. So with that being said, Sauce Nation, do stuff. Go cop the shirt, saucesports.com, and it'll take you to get the shirt and uh, get you one. You know what I'm saying? Come on, drop drip, drip flavor on the city. <laughs> With that being said, do something, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Sauce Nation, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. I'm Ed Honcho, and I'm out.